All about Mars. Mars is a cold desert world. It is half the size of Earth. Mars is sometimes called the Red Planet. It's red because of rusty iron in the ground. Like Earth, Mars has seasons, polar ice caps, volcanoes, canyons, and weather. It has a very thin atmosphere made of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and argon. There are signs of ancient floods on Mars, but now water mostly exists in icy dirt and thin clouds. On some Martian hillsides, there is evidence of liquid salty water in the ground. Scientists want to know if Mars may have had living things in the past. They also want to know if Mars could support life now or in the future. Structure and Surface Mars is a terrestrial planet. It is small and rocky. Mars has a thin atmosphere. Mars has an active atmosphere, but the surface of the planet is not active. Its volcanoes are dead. Time on Mars. One day on Mars lasts 24.6 hours. It is just a little longer than a day on Earth. One year on Mars is 687 Earth days. It is almost twice as long as one year on Earth. Mars neighbors. Mars has two moons. Their names are Phobos and Deimos. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun. That means Earth and Jupiter are Mars neighboring planets. Quick history. Mars has been known since ancient times because it can be seen without advanced telescopes. Several missions have visited Mars. And Mars is the only planet we have sent rovers to. They drive around Mars, taking pictures and measurements. All about Venus. Even though Venus isn't the closest planet to the Sun, it is still the hottest. It has a thick atmosphere full of the greenhouse gas carbon dioxide and clouds made of sulfuric acid. The gas traps heat and keeps Venus toasty warm. In fact, it's so hot on Venus, metals like lead would be puddles of melted liquid. Venus looks like a very active planet. It has mountains and volcanoes. Venus is similar in size to Earth. Earth is just a little bit bigger. Venus is unusual because it spins the opposite direction of Earth and most other planets. And its rotation is very slow. It takes about 243 Earth days to spin around just once. Because it's so close to the Sun, a year goes by fast. It takes 225 Earth days for Venus to go all the way around the Sun. That means that a day on Venus is a little longer than a year on Venus. Since the day and year lengths are similar, one day on Venus is not like a day on Earth. Here, the Sun rises and sets once each day. But on Venus, the Sun rises every 117 Earth days. That means the Sun rises two times during each year on Venus, even though it is still the same day on Venus. And because Venus rotates backwards, the Sun rises in the west and sets in the east. Just like Mercury, Venus doesn't have any moons. Structure and Surface Venus is the hottest planet in our solar system. Venus is a terrestrial planet. It is small and rocky. Venus has a thick atmosphere. It traps heat and makes Venus very hot. Venus has an active surface, including volcanoes. Venus spins the opposite direction of Earth and most other planets. Time on Venus. A day on Venus lasts 243 Earth days. A year on Venus lasts 225 Earth days. Venus's neighbors. Venus does not have any moons. Venus is the second planet from the Sun. That means Mercury and Earth are Venus's neighboring planets. Quick history. Venus has been known since ancient times because it can be seen easily without a telescope. Venus has been visited by several spacecraft, Mariner 2, Mariner 5, Mariner 10, Pioneer Venus 1, Pioneer Venus 2, and an orbiter called Magellan. All about Mercury. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. It's just a little bigger than Earth's moon. It is the closest planet to the Sun, but it's actually not the hottest. Venus is hotter. Along with Venus, Earth, and Mars, Mercury is one of the rocky planets. 
It has a solid surface that is covered with craters. It has no atmosphere, and it doesn't have any moons. Mercury likes to keep things simple. This small planet spins around slowly compared to Earth, so one day lasts a long time. Mercury takes 59 Earth days to make one full rotation. A year on Mercury goes by fast. Because it's the closest planet to the Sun, it doesn't take very long to go all the way around. It completes one revolution around the Sun in just 88 Earth days. If you lived on Mercury, you'd have a birthday every three months. A day on Mercury is not like a day here on Earth. For us, the Sun rises and sets each and every day. Because Mercury has a slow spin and short year, it takes a long time for the Sun to rise and set there. Mercury only has one sunrise every 180 Earth days. Isn't that weird? Structure and surface. Mercury is the smallest planet in our solar system. Mercury is a terrestrial planet. It is small and rocky. Mercury doesn't really have an atmosphere. Time on Mercury. A day on Mercury lasts 59 Earth days. A year on Mercury lasts 88 Earth days. Mercury's neighbors. Mercury does not have any moons. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun. Venus is Mercury's neighboring planet. Quick history. Mercury has been known since ancient times because it can be seen without advanced telescopes. Mercury has been visited by two spacecraft, Mariner 10 and Messenger. All about the Moon. The fifth largest moon in the solar system, Earth's moon is the only place beyond Earth where humans have set foot. Earth has just one moon, a rocky, cratered place, roughly a quarter the size of Earth and an average of 238,855 miles away. The moon can be seen with the naked eye most nights as it traces its 27-day orbit around our planet. Chances are that when you imagine the night sky, one of the first things that comes to mind is the moon, glowing, in the darkness. The moon has always held a special place in our imaginations and in daily life. It's no wonder that we are fascinated. The moon is Earth's only natural satellite and one that we can easily see most nights. What makes the moon glow? The moon does not shine with its own light. It simply reflects light coming from the sun. Why does it look like the moon is changing shape? From Earth, it might look like the moon is changing shape each night, from a tiny sliver to a half moon to a full moon and back again. What's actually happening is that from our spot on Earth, we see different parts of the moon lit up by the sun as the moon travels in its orbit. Is there actually a dark side of the moon? No. The moon rotates on its own axis at the same rate that it orbits around Earth. That means we always see the same side of the moon from our position on Earth. The side we don't see gets just as much light, so a more accurate name for that part of the moon is the far side. How did the moon form? Scientists believe that the moon formed early in the solar system's history after Earth and an object about the size of Mars smashed into each other. The impact sent chunks of Earth and the impactor into space that were pulled together by gravity, creating the Moon. How do we study the Moon? Even thousands of years ago, humans drew pictures to track the changes of the Moon. Later, people used their observations of the Moon to create calendars. Today, we study the Moon using telescopes and spacecraft. For example, NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter has been circling the Moon and sending back measurements since 2009. The Moon is the only other planetary body that humans have visited. On July 20, 1969, NASA astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin were the first people to set foot on the dusty surface of the Moon. Ten other American astronauts followed. They collected hundreds of pounds of lunar soil and rock samples, conducted experiments and installed equipment for follow-up measurements. What do we know about the Moon? 
Today, we know that the Moon is covered by craters as well as dust and debris from comets, asteroids and meteoroid impacts. We know that the Moon's dark areas, called Maria, which is Latin for seas, are not actually seas. Instead, they are craters that lava seeped into billions of years ago. We know that the Moon has almost no atmosphere and only about one-sixth of Earth's gravity. We even know that there is quite a bit of frozen water tucked away in craters near the Moon's poles. There are still many questions left to answer about the Moon. And the most exciting days of lunar activity may still lie ahead as NASA sends humans on the next missions to the Moon and eventually on to Mars.